25th of October 2018, Thursday. How is the cat? The 13 year old female spit cat, you can see that it is deep. Now, the main complaint is it can't be turned the cat upside down. It's actually. Uh, hold on, Pete. No? There, there is the memory gland tumor. I don't know how you discover it. Uh. I was just touching. Yeah, it's very, it's very fortunate that the owner discovered it early. We hold the armpit. Eh? Otherwise, uh, I have cases where they, they grow as big as a golf ball. Golf ball size. Now, the memory gland tumor is actually here. Eh? And it looks very much infected as well. Now, uh, it looks small, but actually it's not small. Yeah, there's another lump below. Huh? There's another one. So there are two, uh, two lumps. And then later on we will shave the hair all board and then we check the others. Because presently is the cat may be a bit nervous. Huh? Okay. Now this 13 year old cat normally when they are sterilized they don't have breast tumors. Huh? But uh, I have cases which is quite rare. This one of the rare cases. Huh? of a breast tumour in the cat. Whether it's cancerous or not, we will need to send to the lab for histology. Now let's have a look at the at the blood test huh, by the other vet. Now according to the vet, actually the main findings are low neutral fields, which I think the vet didn't really highlight, highlight it because it's not too low, it's just a bit below the 2.30 is 2.23 but the main worry is this one uh, platelets 58 is considered very low as you can see if it's just slightly low we don't have much to worry but it's very low here so platelets if it's very low the cat can bleed to death during operation because there, there is a bleeding and so this is the one I have to do a repeat blood test now this blood test was done one week ago right a few days ago. A few days ago and the cat, according to the vet, it was due to blood collection. That's why the playlists are low. Was the cat running away nervous or... or uh, it wasn't done in front of me. Huh? It wasn't done in front of me. Okay, normally, 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 99% they don't have these findings. Huh? And uh, so, we will do a repeat test. If it's, if it's not low, then uh, we will operate tomorrow. Now the low neutral fields, this is an abnormal finding as well. But uh, taken together, there may be something toxic in the bloodstream. Uh. Like, for, like for example, chemical leaking uh, of the pores, leaking of chemicals from the pores, but we will, we will do a repeat test to, to confirm it. Once it shows that it is normal, then we will do the... Oh, now I've done the examination just now. Now overall, this cat it looks very healthy. Eh? You can see even the gums. Eh? Gums are a bit pale, but blood test shows there is no anemia. Now I open the mouth, and uh, there are no serious ulcers around. You see, uh, there is some tartar. The teeth I would say very good for thirteen year old. Right? You didn't brush any teeth. Huh? So very good. It doesn't have this ulcerated ulcerative tongue disease okay everything is okay I've done the the check on the heart heart is good heart and lungs are good no? very good yeah? quite steady lungs good abdomen There's some intestinal sound and I do a palpation and just to check any lumps or no? and uh, quick one. Don't know the cat is not happy. Just now was okay. The kidneys seem to be a bit stronger. No? Okay, but could be the cat now. It's a bit nervous. Body condition is good. It's not uh, fat, not thin. Where's the cat? Should we put it in first? Let her go back in and then we'll take a blood test. To to confirm that the platelets are low or not low. Can she go in? Okay, finish with it.